Today, we're in the middle of a mystery. A murder mystery. On August 22, 1643, Professor Johann Georg Wiersung was shot to death by a Belgian student named Jacques Cambier. Without any obvious motive for the murder, it was speculated in anatomical circles that Wiersung was murdered out of jealousy for his discovery. But what discovery might it have been? Well, it happens that in the year before he was murdered, Professor Wiersong discovered a tube in the centre of an organ, which was previously believed to only function as padding in the abdominal area. It was, of course, the pancreas. This allowed Professor Wiersong to deduce that the pancreas may have a more important, previously unknown purpose. In celebration of his finding, this tube was named the Duct of Wiersong. But did his discovery cost him his life? That's a mystery I can't solve, but I can help you with the enigma that is the pancreatic duct system. You might be interested to know what exactly we'll cover in this tutorial, so let's have a quick overview. We'll start with a very quick review of the location and basic anatomy of the pancreas, just to help you orientate yourself. Then we'll move on to the duct system, where we'll find two important ducts. The main pancreatic duct and the accessory pancreatic duct. With those in mind, we'll discuss the duct system and its components. Once we've covered all of that, we'll conclude, as always, with a clinical note. So, what do you say? Are you ready to untangle the mystery of the pancreatic duct system? Then let's get started with the location and basic anatomy of the pancreas. OK, so what is the pancreas? Well, despite previous misconceptions, we now know that it's a really important organ of both the digestive and the endocrine systems, meaning it has a dual function. About 80% of its functional tissue is dedicated to producing enzymes essential for digestion, making the pancreas an exocrine organ. The rest of it is dedicated to producing hormones like glucagon and insulin, which also make it an endocrine gland. These hormones are essential in glucose metabolism, which in simpler terms means they help to regulate blood sugar levels. The pancreas is mostly contained in the upper left quadrant of the abdomen. Most of its parts lie posterior to the stomach, which has been removed in this image. In today's tutorial, we'll focus on the pancreas and the part of the small intestine related to it, the duodenum. If you would like to explore the anatomical relations of the pancreas in greater detail, be sure to check out our video on this topic. Now moving on to the basic anatomy of the pancreas, we know that it has well-defined parts along its length. Beginning on the left-hand side, we have the tail, which is the tapered end of the organ located close to the spleen. Moving more medially, we find the body of the pancreas. This video is not over yet. Continue watching now the full video at KenHub.com. We have lots more videos like this one available to our premium members on our website, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles, and atlas sections. So click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.